Hello everyone, it's Megan Alexi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's video guys, we will discuss again the figures of speech. So last time, diniscuss natin doon sa, uh, sa ating video yung figures of uh, representation or reference. But this time, we will discuss the figures of speech of order. So again, in figures of uh, speech of order, we have six. Alright? So, bago natin i-discuss yun at bago, natin, bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, gusto ko na ulit magpasalamat sa inyo sa inyong uh, patuloy na pagsuporta dahil nandito na naman kayo sa ating channel at patuloy na nanonood. So, maraming maraming salamat guys. Okay? So, wag na natin patagalin. Umpisahan na natin. Alright, so pagka sinabi natin figures of order, we have six. One is the climax, second is anticlimax, third is anastrophe, and th fourth is a uh, hyperbaton and fifth is the inversion and sixth is the metathesis. So, umpisahan natin i-discuss ang climax. So, pagka sinabi natin climax, this is an arrangement of words or ideas in an ascending of, of importance. So, pagka sinabi natin ascending from the importance to the less importance or mula doon sa mataas mula sa pababa. Alright? So, pag-usapan natin ang example. I came, I saw, I concurred. So, yan ay isang example ng uh, climax. Alright? So, I came, I saw, I concurred. Alright? The next example is um, we came, we sang, and we fell in love. Alright? So, those are the two examples of climax. Alright? So, let's move on on the anticlimax. So, pagka sinabi natin anticlimax, kabaliktaran lang siya ng climax. So, pagka sinabi natin anti-climax, this is an arrangement of words or ideas in an descending of importance. So, ibig sabihin, mula naman doon sa less important, do, papunta doon sa pinaka-importante. Alright? Or, mula doon sa baba, papunta sa taas. Let's talk about the example. In elementary, she graduated valedictorian. In high school, salutatorian, and in college, cum laude. So that is the example of the anti-climax. All right. All right, so up next is anastrophe. Now, well, let's talk about what is an anastrophe. So, anastrophe is transposition of two words within a phrase, clause, or a line. So, let's talk about the example. Figures, pedantical, rule, tyrannical. So now, if we say transposition, ito ay the process of, or this is a transfer. So pwede magkabaliktad yung isang salita sa, bawa, sa isang line or sa clause or sa phrase. Alright? So that is an anastrophe. Up next is hyperbaton or hyperbaton. Alright, so what is this? Departure from ordinary words. So, Pagka sinabi nating departure, syempre dumarating naman talaga sa buhay ng isang tao ang hindi natin ini-expect. So, let's talk about the example. A lovely day it was. Yes, sometimes, di ba? And usually, na-experience natin na napakaganda ng araw. Minsan naman hindi maganda. Minsan maulan. Minsan mainit. So, dumarating yun sa pagkakataon. Alright? So, another one is, in war, people shed blood. And that's correct. No? So, it's, it's, uh... Sa katotohanan, eh, nangyayari naman talaga ito. Alright, so that is hyperbaton. Up next is the inversion. Now, what is an inversion? Inversion is transposition of subject and predicate within a line, clause, or sentence. So, pagka sinabi natin trans transposition, ito ay pwedeng magpalit or pwedeng magtransfer yung isang uh, kanina sinabi natin word no in within a line, phrase, or uh, clause. Pero dito naman sa sa hyper uh, sa inversion, ito ay transposition ng subject and predicate. Now, if we say subject, yun yung pinag-uusapan natin or subject of a sentence. Now, if we talk about the predicate, yun yung patungkol or nagbigay ng information doon sa subject. All right? Pwede ito may verb na with. All right. So, pag-usapan natin ang example. Okay? Here comes the bride. So, alin dyan yung dalawang or alin dyan yung subject and predicate na pwedeng magpalit sa kanilang posisyon. Alright? So, pagka sinabi natin yan, eh, ano ba yung, bra ano, uh, ano ba yung subject? Of course, pagka sinabi natin subject, yun yung pinag-uusapan. 
and predicate, pwede itong verb, alright? Uh, pagka sinabi natin predicate, it is, could be a verb. Alright, so ang, ang pinag-uusapan dyan is yung bride, and pagka sinabi natin predicate, is comes. So, of course, pagka sinabi natin subject, yun yung pinag-uusapan sa pangungusap or sa, sa, sa sentence, no? At pagka sinabi natin uh, bride, yun yung subject, yun yung pinag-uusapan natin. Eh, sabi dito sa inversion, this is transposition of subject and predicate. Now, kung pagpapalitin natin yung si subject and predicate, ito ang mangyayari dyan. Um, the bride, here comes. So, pinagpalit natin yung position ni subject, which is of course the bride and predicate comes. So, yun yung manggiging inversion. Kaya nga, inversion inverted. Pwede magkabaliktad. Alright? Next, another example is, along came a spider. Alright? So, from that example, syempre ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is si spider. Na pagpapalitin natin ang position kay predicate, which is came. So, ang mayayari dyan is, a spider came along. Alright? So, yan ang example ng inversion. Another example is, um, in God we trust, or we trust in God. Alright? So, those are an example of inversion. Up next is the metathesis. So, what is a metathesis? This is a transposition of two letters, two letters within a word. So, letters naman yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Let's talk about the example. With lever, burning hot, fervent, or prevent. Now, let's talk about the example. With lever, burning a hot, prevent. So, tingnan natin yung, yung word na prevent into fervent. Kasi wala namang, wala namang word na prevent. Alright? So, yan ay binaliktad yung position ng uh, R and E, yung prevent into fervent. Yun ang, yun ang nagkabaliktad lang. Right? So, again, it will say metathesis. This is a transposition of two letters within a word. That is, that is an example of metathesis. Alright, so yan ang figures of order. Alright, so again, meron tayong anim under the figures of order. Isa-isahin natin. One is the climax, second is anticlimax, third is the anostrophe, and fourth is hyperbaton, and fifth is um, inversion, and sixth is metathesis. Again, maraming salamat sa panunood, and I hope may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Salamat, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye, everybody.